Well, we've come to the end. I say the end. What a great message from our friend uh, Mark Greenwood, National Evangelist uh, for Enum and Head of Mission. Really kind of pulling it together. Well, this is, we didn't tell you at the beginning, but this is our last breakfast church each week as uh, we think the Pentecost is that call for us to, to go forward, isn't it, Becky? It certainly is. And we want to say thank you to everybody who's supported uh, Breakfast Church over the last six months or so now. When we started, mm -hmm. we only intended to go up to Christmas. And uh, we've kept going all the way through, but we've just really felt that God say to us that uh, we need to, to stop at Pentecost. Now is the time uh, for us uh, not to... Uh, stop doing what we're doing as a church. This isn't us saying the church is over, but this is us saying that we're we're now moving into a new season. So uh, for uh, the next couple of months, we're just going to do just one breakfast church a month, nine o'clock on the first Sunday of the month. First Sunday of the because month. Because then I don't have to count too far to remember the date. It the first Sunday of the month, nine o'clock breakfast church. But uh, as I say, this is our final one. And like Becky, just want to say thank you to everybody who has. Uh, contributed, uh, and be part, watched, interacted with us over the many months. But Becky, we're, we're, we're making some steps forward, aren't we? We are. Now, obviously, we're very, very, very mindful of uh, the situation in Wixons at the moment. And we're not going to do anything that's not safe or not appropriate. We want to look after our community. That's really important. But we are uh, taking steps to be able to meet in person, safely, uh, before the summer holidays. We're hopeful that we can gather twice over the next couple of months um, as Messy Church in a way that is safe. So please keep your eye on all our social media posts. We know that people want to gather. We know that people want Little Stars to be back. We know that people want Messy Church to be open, but we want to be back. Uh, so we're firstly making sure it's safe to do so and and keeping our eye on the situation we had hoped to be able to give you some more concrete uh dates and times today that's why we've been saying we've got some exciting announcements we haven't been lying when we've been saying but obviously with the the surge of the indian variant in our community and particularly uh, in wixoms then uh, we just need to be a little bit more sensible and i know interesting enough of thinking around some of our other churches across the the area they're also thinking about how do we be a little bit sensible? You know, the word is caution, but we are hoping very much to be back in person with little stars um, as soon as we are able. And as Becky said, keep uh, an eye out on social media for that. And also a messy church hoping to be back uh, hopefully twice, hopefully once yeah, in June. Hopefully, hopefully June one... and July, that's our intention. But I just, uh, I just remember that at Pentecost, it's the coming of God's spirit and God came and did a new thing in that place so God's not limited by whether we have to meet online whether we have to drop things off on your doorstep whether we have to meet outdoors or indoors God's beyond and above all of that and and he's at work in our community right now and I think for us we're still here we're still here Becky and I are privileged to be uh, the leaders of Wixom's church and, and we're still here so if even if we still aren't able to meet quite yet and it might take a couple of extra weeks then please do uh, not hesitate uh, to get in touch with us. Uh, drop us a message through the uh, send message facility on uh, the Facebook page. Uh, get in touch with us. The email address, wixomsmessychurch at gmail.com. Uh, We're going to be sharing lots of great content today. Uh, for example, at 11 o'clock, we'll be sharing the link to uh, Pentecost Praise, a live uh, programme uh, from TBN UK at 11 o'clock, uh, where people from all over the nation are going to be gathering, and then again at 2 o'clock. So we'll be showing lots of great content. I hope those people that have been watching the Cheeky Pandas have enjoyed them. I love the Cheeky Pandas. I know you do. <laughs> I, love, I think it was designed simply for, for me. But we So we've loved sharing lots of great content. But sadly, on a Sunday morning, this is where uh, we stop with our regular 9 o'clock. Uh, breakfast churches but it's been so great uh, that you've welcomed us into your home that you've shared us and we know that you've been watching because we've seen uh, the numbers we're going to end our time uh, this morning as I say we could talk forever uh, and it does feel a little well as I say I could talk forever it does feel a little bit like that kind of how do you say goodbye but it's not really goodbye it's just 
this is the, the pause on, on this for now. But we're going to pray God's blessing upon you as we, we go into this week, asking that that power that was released that Mark talked about, that caused the disciples no longer to be hemmed in, but to go would be that same spirit that we would uh, feel as we, we go into this day, into this week. Um, and until we, we meet again face to face, especially if you just lead us in prayer as we close together. Okay, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are with us in each and every circumstance. This morning, we pray especially for our community in Wixoms, that you would bring uh, healing and an end to the virus there. We thank you that you, uh, you caused the church to be your vehicle in spreading your kingdom here on earth. So Lord, as we look to the future, we pray that we will be listening to what you have to say and obedient to the things you cause us to do. Be with us now, we pray. Amen. Amen. And may the spirit of truth lead us into all truth and give us grace as we move forward this Pentecost day to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, giving glory to God the Father, and may his blessing, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be upon us and remain with us always. Amen. Well, Becky, this is the this is the end. We wanted to do this together rather than just uh, me or, or Becky doing it. But, uh, you know, we, we look forward to being with you. And if you sense we've been talking about journeying this last couple of weeks, this is what we've been uh, getting ourselves ready for for Pentecost. If you feel a sense that you want to be part of what we're doing here at Wixom's and get further involved to jump in or even just to make that commitment of faith, we'd love to walk with you on the journey. But for now... Uh, this has been Adam and Becky signing off. Have a, a great day. Do I get to with a wave? You do. Okay. God bless. Bye-bye.